Hey guys, what's up? Nature from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles here with Sonic Academy again. Now, music making doesn't always have to be an expensive proposition, uh, which is why today I wanted to bring you a little video detailing five essential Dynamics plugins that you can pick up. Um, these are my top picks and they're going to cost you absolutely nothing. You go grab them now and use them in your productions. Let's dive in quickly. We'll do a little overview of what they're used for and what they sound like. Let's check them not just okay so let's dive into our list i've just got some drums loaded up from uh groove agent which he's going to use as an example um, our first candidate in the list is the tdr katalnikov from tokyo dawn labs now what makes this pretty special um, not just the fact that it's free uh, but just how transparent this compressor is um, you could use this for mastering and stuff if you wanted. Um, I'm going to dial some of this in just so we can take a listen to how good this is uh, with the um, attack set down incredibly low and quite extreme compressor settings. Uh, let's just dial, dial in some compressor, compression. We'll actually put that maxed and bring up our threshold. Let's just level our game as well, we have to zero. So here we go. So at minus 18 dBs of compression, it's, it's barely falling apart there with the attack even that quick. And we bring that out, yeah, how snappy this can be. So yeah, um, and also just the fact that this has some really, really good features for something that's completely free. Uh, you've got a um, sidechain filter that you can sort of protect your low end, and this is switchable between uh, 12 dB, 3 dB, uh, and flat. Um, then you can also obviously adjust the frequency there. You've also got stereo linking um, that you can link the left and right. Uh, also the detector phase you can set up here uh, to choose where you want to pick the detection from. Um, and then it's got uh, two different modes as well. And what I liked about this as well is that you they are content or, uh, or um, instance aware. So you can actually use, if you're using multiple instances of this in a session, you can run in eco mode and then go to precise mode and set all the the quality for all instances at exactly the same time without having to go through each plugin, which is a really, really nice uh, addition to this. So yeah, for the price of zero dollars, this is really uh, a great find. So let's jump into the next one. Uh, our next candidate is the MJUC Junior from Klangholm. Uh, so this one is based on their MJUC compressor, which actually has three different modeled uh, compressors built in at the same time. And uh, they also have a few more controls available to them, uh, but you don't really need it in this case. Uh, part of the beauty of this is just how simple this is to dial in. It's literally a case of setting the amount of compression. and then adjusting the makeup gain. And then you have a, a option for the time constants. You have a fast mode and a slow mode. It's all slow. And just take a listen to bypass. So this is going to be a great sort of alternative, a great free alternative for something like an LA-2A uh, clone or something like that. Um, I'd recommend trying this on vocals, uh, especially with the slow time constant, because it is kind of like an opto compressor sound that you're going to get out of this. Um, this could also be great in conjunction with um, something like the Katalnikov as well, that you do your sort of uh, general leveling with this in its slow mode and then... Uh, run Katalnikov over the top of that to sort of really fine tune your peaks and so on. Then let's jump into the next one, which is one of my favorite free plugins, and I use this loads. Um, so this is Clip Shifter from LVC Audio, and uh, this is the free version. The full version, 
you pay for it, you get a few extra features like the MS and EQ, uh, the attack you can change as well, and then you have oversampling as well. Um, however, I don't find it a deal breaker not having these features. What uh, I use this most for is linking the initial and end amounts here. And then you have this great visualization here. So you can actually see spikes occurring and using this as a uh, clipping limiter, you can basically just clip off any spikes that you have. Hard clipping essentially. And it really helps to just increase your headroom and stuff uh, by doing this. Um, you do want to be careful with this one um, because dialing it back too much, you can end up with distortion. After all, it is literally just clipping the tops off. But that said, uh, you have got uh, some uh, controls over the clipping shape and then an additional harmonic style as well. So you can actually use this at times to drive signals a little bit more and get sort of a distortion out of it as well as the clipping. Generally speaking, I'd be using that just to cut off any little spikes and just kind of level, level your audio uh, before sending it into your limiter or whatever. So really, really cool plugin, completely free as well. Uh, I've been using this one for ages in my projects as well. I highly recommend you pick this up as well. Um, then the next compressor that we have, or um, actually limiter, is from a company that I'm uh, pretty keen on the rest of their software as well. And this is a free plugin from them. It's, this is D16's Frontier. Uh, now this thing I like just because it sounds absolutely brutal. Um, so it's a limiting amplifier. Again, very, very simple uh, controls. All you're doing is uh, adjusting your threshold, adjusting the output volume once you've compressed and you have a uh, release time that you can set. So you have the fast, medium, and slow settings. Uh, let's take a listen to this. Um, just be careful of the volume on this one because you can really get um, crazy compression with this. So this is no compression dialed in. Let's just check out the different speeds. Obviously, these are pretty extreme settings that I'm doing. I just wanted to show you guys just how aggressive this thing can sound. You can probably normally be using it in this kind of range here, but yeah, it, it definitely has its own has its, uh, quite a unique uh, tonal quality to it, and I really liked uh, the sound of this. It's not one that I use all the time, um, but every now and then I do want that kind of aggressive compression and. Uh, for squashing the life out of something, this is really, really a, a, a cool plugin to turn to. And even cooler, because you can just grab it for free. So, uh, lastly, um, we're going to take a look at another company that uh, just put this one out for free, but they do really, really good plugins. And this is the Decam free comp from F expansion. So this is based on their decam modeling technology that they have in all their synths, uh, all the like strobe. Um, they do a line of filters and other you know, more featured uh, feature rich compressors as well. And it's uh, really pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, now this one is basically uh, the famed SSL bus compressor. Uh, it's pretty much based on that. Uh, so if you've got something, uh, Ableton, for example, if you're an Ableton user, you've probably uh, used glue. So this is very similar. You might not need an alternative, but if you do look, if you are looking for an alternative, um, this is pretty great for, for, for what it is, uh, considering that you can pick up SSL clones from some companies for, you know, well over $300, if you like UAD, for example. Um, so yeah, pretty much the same uh, controls as any of those. The one thing that I'm missing with this is a mix dial. 
dry wet although that said the original compressor doesn't have uh, a dry wet uh, dial on it at all uh, you can just run this through a send if you want to do sort of parallel compression um, we just take a listen to this one as well uh, we'll set it up like we would normal bus compressor we'll go for a ratio of four And there you have it, makeup again. Uh, the other thing I really wish that they'd fixed with this is just made a slightly more intelligible um, uh, level meters. Um, you, you can switch this to, oh, sorry, just gotta learn. You can switch the, this to gain reduction. Um, I just don't find it very clear. I guess that's five, 10 dB. That's quite a lot of gain reduction for drum bus yeah I would have just liked uh, slightly better metering but I mean for a free free plugin um, this is pretty great and yeah so if you are in the market for some new dynamics plugins you don't need to go and shell out a whole bunch of money you can go and check these out uh, they're fantastic plugins I've used them loads in projects of mine before uh, well worth adding to your plugin collection. Right, I hope this video was informative and helped you guys out. Uh, I will catch you guys again soon, right here at Sonic Academy. Cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.